Okay, folks, uh, we have to talk about these parts I made actually some weeks ago uh, because I made some mistakes. First of all, this is um, some scrap material I had lying around and the first try if, uh, it would match perfectly to make these two parts. So there's a, I cut this part in half and screwed them together to one solid block. So all the bores here and holes are made in one setup and perfectly aligning. The idea was to use the bottom edge and the left corner as a reference. As you saw in the video, once the bottom edge was cut down, um, I faced off this side and did all the math for the drilling pattern from this corner. As I added 5mm material here, or spare material, um, yeah, the, the whole pattern is now 5mm offset to the left. Doesn't hurt much as you saw in the video before, but um, I'm missing some material over here. The background is my idea was to use some uh, uh, round shaped top half or top bracket for the, uh, the main shaft or the drum shafts. But my design is based on practices by Or and Sambauer, uh, as my steam engine is an Or Sambauer model. And they used square tops for the pedestals. And there is a U-shaped bar running, running across the main shaft where the spindle for the clutch mechanism is hold in place. So to make this arrangement working, um, I can't use the, the half one that I had in, in mind before. So as you can see, actually I'm missing some material here at this point, uh, at, at this corner. Um, I have not enough material to make those parts again. So I spent several weeks or days on how to get this issue solved. I'm poor at welding, 
So welding something on here is not my choice actually. I could try silver soldering, but before this I have to remove some more material here to get a chance at this. And this is now actually the plan that I cut off all the off material I don't need actually. Uh, mill out here the, the inner section to get the final shape later on. And once done, I can try to cut parts here from the leftover stock and silver solder them here to the corners. Taking them apart at first, add those, um, grind, mill and file them flat again and then proceed with the final uh, outline of these parts. I'm not sure with this process now, but uh, I look forward to, to try, give it a try actually. Another issue happened when I drilled the pattern actually because I showed before that there is a small gear here in front which will, uh, will link the main drum to the whole back drum later on and also this shaft will power the boiler feed pump and the lubricator. It was supposed to use a 28 gear here, a 28 T gear, but the drawing I used to drill the holes already uh, still had a 23 T's gear in uh, in the sketch so this hole doesn't fit for the 28 action which is uh, logical at this point and uh, as all the gears are working fine together here on these parts uh, I will use a 23 tooth gear and this will um, increase the speed for the for the lubricator and the feed water pump but uh, the, the boiler feed I can adjust with the bypass valve actually and there are some other ways to adjust the amount of uh, oil feeded by the lubricator. So I think this the original design was uh, gear ratio 3 to 1 and now we are around about 2.4 to 1. So I think I, I can work with this one actually. Okay folks so that is the actual status and also some reason why it took so long to get a new uh, video coming in this project. I look forward to get some process here in, within the next couple of weeks. And I hope you are well, stay safe and uh, hopefully I can post another update soon. Bye!